Hey y'all, hey, it's your girl A, and today's video is going to be brought to you by Neat and Sleeve. So I've worked with this company prior twice, and they have some really, really nice braid wigs. So girl, if you want to use some box braids or some faux locks, you do not have to sit in a chair for hours on edge. You can go ahead and get you one of these nice lace frontal wigs. So this one is a 13 by 6 a lace frontal. The knots already come pre-bleached for you guys. And as you can tell by the look of my face, I'm very impressed, okay? You can get it with baby hairs or sparse baby hairs, depending on how you want it. There are two different cap sizes, as well as this one. Her name is Maya, and you can either get her at bra length or waist length. So waist length is between the inches of 24 and 26, which I am rocking right here. Here. These are knotless braids, which are the in thing, the trends in thing, girl, you know. But knotless braids, you can definitely put it up in style. And I can't do this video without one of my favorite candies, which is the high chews. I think I showed you guys this before, but one bag is never enough. So look, okay, I got me a whole bag, bag, bag full, and I'm gonna be chewing on those as I go ahead and do this video. So the braid across is actually the baby here, so you will need to unravel or unbraid that. As you guys seen, I went ahead and cut the tail end of it because I didn't need the baby hairs that long. So I got my tweezers on hand because I don't want my baby hairs so full like that in the front. So what I do is I just tweeze out just a little bit of them. So that way there is still some. And for all the baby hairs, I don't use them all. What I end up doing is kind of like wrapping some of the baby hairs around the braid so that way they're not visible. So that way I don't have to tweeze all the baby hairs, but I can just tweeze out enough and the ones that I don't use or I don't brush down, I just take them and I kind of like wrap them around the braids so where they're not noticeable. And as you guys can see, some of the hairs is coming out. And now to make my wig fit properly, I will need to cut the sides and I will need to cut one of the braids in the front off of the lace. So that way the wig fits comfortably and it also allows it to lay flat to my head. So the braid right here at the bottom row in the front is going to be the one that I'm going to be removing. 
and it's not going to destroy the wig but it is going to allow it to fit a lot more flush to my head and I'll do that again on the opposite side as well and to allow my wig to adhere I'm going to be using my favorite hairspray which is the Aussie instant freeze and you can pick this up just about anywhere you do want to allow it to get tacky I say use about two to three barriers it does dry pretty darn quick sometimes you do need to use a blow dryer with it sometimes you don't but I do allow at least two barriers prior to adhering any type of wig you are my world in every place it's the things that you do and it's the sun on your face and as time goes by added step because it is bleach knots I do want it to kind of look more like my own skin tone so I just took some of my pressed powder and rubbed and dabbed that into certain areas because some of the knots were just a little bit speckled nothing major you know you can definitely overcome this by just adding a little bit of me see how easy these braids are to maneuver around you can definitely put this up in a ponytail if you chose to or a bun real quick I like the fact that they're not list so they look a lot neater but I definitely like the fact that you can put it up in a ponytail in the front to keep the braids out of your face you definitely want to check out neat and sleek they have loads of different units to choose from I love their faux locks I love their braid wigs they always look they always look neat they always look sleek girl and they're also very affordable but I will definitely post all of their information down below after the video. You can check them out. Make sure you hit the like button for your girl. And as you see, super easy to put up in a bun. There's different ways that you could wrap your hair. I didn't want it too bulky, so I just kind of like wrapped it like that really, really quick.
really nice unit, super affordable and definitely easy to wear and save you time sitting in a chair. This is a side view of how the hair looks at the waist. This is how and where it falls at on me. So make sure you check the link in the description box down below. I'll leave you everything for you guys. I love you all. Stay diva and delicious.